Continuing the road of learning modern through other decks, we're playing Domain Zoo today. And honestly, this deck just some just does some magical things with Leyline of the Guild Pact. When you have access to all colors of mana, the world is truly your oyster, and you're going to get to see that in these games today. If you want to see more games like this from Domain Zoo or just other decks in general, I want to hear in the comment section down below what you're looking for outside of Mill and some of the popper stuff that I play. I'd love to play more modern, but for these games right here, enjoy. I've been learning some five color domain. Let's see if we can't get ourselves a dub here. I think we can do... And we do slightly better than this. It's like so many lands, though. I don't think, I don't know. Just ride these two out? I don't think so. It's decent, but no. This is better. This is much better. This is much better. Because we can drop this. Say done. Check this out, folks. Check out. Oh, the mulligan was worth it. Come on now. The magic of Leyline of the Guild Pact right here. The magic of Leyline of the Guild Pact. Check this out. We go island. Then we use the island to pay for our red Ragavan. Come on now. It's too easy. It's too easy. It's too easy. And then next turn we play Scion. I guess we play Scion or do we play Terry? I guess Kavu. I guess we play Kavu. Let's see. Let's see what they let's see what maybe I steal something of theirs that's worth playing. So let's just swing in with the Ragavan before we do anything. Cause you know, like whatever. The lifelink isn't is I don't think is gonna matter too much here. Let's see. Yeah, the lifelink isn't gonna matter too much. Um hexproof if it's blue though is kind of big. I will say hexproof if it's blue is kind of big. So maybe I will just play it out. Kinda have to answer answer it now before he gains hex proof. Okay, swamp it is. They're gonna fatal push it. Yep, there it is. Yeah, so just kind of forcing the hand there. So now the scion is is just a is just this crazy threat that they need. Uh, Need something bigger, or I mean, they're they just grab swamp, so that's I don't know. It's a uh, it's an interesting choice, I'll say that. They just grab the swamp. We'll play the territorial Kavu next. Hopefully, we can find some more lands. That'd be great. Noticing that this list specifically, that one, the modern challenge is only playing. Um, so this specifically is only playing three ragavans, notably only three ragavans. Opponent thinking about what they what they need to do against the scion of the Draco. Um, wow. All right. Yeah, they don't know how to answer this. I don't know what they're playing. Uh, I have no idea what they're playing. So I legit just have to run it back. I think like they're playing black and fatal push. It could just be coffers. I don't know. Like, pick your poison is just like always a great, like, you know, whatever addition. I could drop like one stubborn denial and a Nishobi brawler for like two meddling mages, I, I guess. They could even, they're playing Mire though. I honestly don't know what they could be playing here. If we just run it back and just maybe try and like mold into the same hand or something like they, they did not have a way to deal with um, ley line of the guild pact into in a thing here. Let's see. Let's see how fast we can. We can make this happen here. <laughs> Mulligan was a good decision, I guess. All right. Big Jaggy coming out. Um, conceding early was definitely it was definitely smart on their part. Um, honestly, I feel like this is good. I feel like this is good. Sure, cliffs could have been could be scam too. Um, if it's scam, how do we? I guess it's pick your poison. If it's scam, like we have to play pick your poison because we have to be able to get rid of the blood moons. Um, so in this case, I think we're definitely just bolting the ragavan, right? 
We're not exactly getting domain right now, I don't think. Or we could. We could just play Ragavan next turn, get Triome, and then call it there. Okay. Looks like Scam. Looks like Scam so far. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking like Scam. So what we can do... Hmm. Okay. Double Ragavan. Can't play double Ragavan. So, okay. Mountain Plains. Sure. Mountain Plains, you get Zagoth Triome. Right? Yeah, we get Zagoth Triome. Then we just play this out. And then pass. Next turn, I don't know. Hopefully we find a land. That'd be great. Even if it's a tap land, just, just developing our mana is going to be really important against this matchup. Them taking damage is great too. Thought sees probably takes the Scion of Draco here, leaves the Ragavan, Nishobi, yeah. And then Nishobi Brawler just by itself is not going to do much. So, okay. Molten Collapse it is. Douthi comes in with the Shadow. Um, unfortunately, that, that Ragavan being stolen is, is pretty big for them, I would say. But they do have to sack a Douthi to, to play that. So it's like kind of creature for creature. You just... I guess you have to understand if that's valuable or not. All right, McWaffle face. What are you casting? Oh, without paying its mana cost too, eh? I thought I thought you had to pay for it. Okay, all right. Okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough. I, I was like, no, I thought there would be like some type of cost associated with it. Okay, it's been a while. It's been a while. Uh, This is good. This is good. That is good. So we will play this and then we will play Nishobi Brawler. We, oh, I can. I can play Nishobi Brawler and hold up counter magic, which I think I will. Play Nishobi Brawler and hold up counter magic. I think it's going to be important. If they play, um, if they play some type of mid range piece, um, then that's going to be important. And they know that we have the, they, they know what we have here. So I can't block that because of the flying. At least it doesn't have like crazy types or anything like that. So tribal flames is pretty good. Let's dash this in. Let's dash that in. Then we can hold up double stubborn denial. Take, uh, take seven here. Yep. See what we steal. Love me a good stolen card. Okay. Ragavan comes back. At this point, like Tribal Flames wins me the game next turn. So we just kind of hold that up. We might just be able to steal a quick game off a of scam like right now. Might just be able to steal a quick game off of scam right now. All right, opponent. Four mana. Okay, take my tribal flames. Yeah. Unfortunate, take my tribal flames and then block my initial brother. Maybe I should have just used it on the Scion. Uh, I, was, I was going for lethal. I was going for lethal. Yeah, but I had to force them to have it. That's fine. They may, yeah, exactly. They may not even swing in, honestly, because they, they know I have the Ragavan. Um, and they kind of need to like block that. Um, tomb is very frustrating. Attack. This might be a mistake, uh, in general, because now my stubborn denials don't hard counter. Yeah. Yeah, this might be a mistake in general, but I think just getting the threat off the board is probably good. And then you play the Ragavan, uh, knowing that they can't, like, they can't really, I think, afford to swing in with the Scion without another threat coming down. Yeah. Okay, so they have another threat. Or they're just trying to race me on clock here. 
sure. Nine it is. You have three lightning bolts. That's okay. Everything's falling apart. Everything's falling apart. That's okay. We, we still have a game up on them. Uh, we managed to meme them out. We managed to meme them out. That's fine. Let's let's go to a game three here. Like I I don't think we're winning this with bull masters up, but yeah, okay. Let's just let's just give it to them. Um, I don't think this is gonna be a I don't think this is gonna be really a stubborn denial matchup. I, I don't think. This might be a a, a, a pick your poison. Mm-mm. Could be this. Could be that, honestly. Could be this. Maybe the wear tear is like a little too much. I don't know why we'd go pick your poison, I guess. I don't know why. The enchantment, like, I guess it's just it's just for the sacrificing. Um, meddling mage they deal with like pretty easily. I think it's just answering Blood Moon and the mid-range pizzas. That's all we can really do. And then we have all these proactive answers. I guess it's better we proactively use them too. Okay, reveal this. Honestly, if I can get a ley line of the guild pact plus thing. Yeah, I mean, mm, I don't know. They like thought sees me and then like, what do I do? You know? I no, it's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I I I can't I, I can't play games like that, right? Like keep the ley line out. I, I can't play games around the fact that like I'm gonna get thought sees. Like wh what kind of how, what kind of living is that? You know, <laughs> like what kind of living is that? That's not living. All right. That's not that's not living at all. The hand is the hand works. Not all hands can be, you know. Leyline of the guild pack, two scions to make you thought seize proof, two lands, X card, you know, <laughs> it, it, it can't all be that. So that's fine. All right. Okay. So on our turn, play the Heath. Uh, play the Heath and a Kavu. Right, play the Heath and the Kavu, and then pass. They'll probably fatal push it. Well, they won't. That's crazy. It's okay. Your molten collapse isn't enabled right now. Is it? What? Oh no! You need you need to send to use both modes. Um, right. It's not like revolt or anything. Uh, let's actually fetch this. Let's actually fetch that. And let's grab a forest, right? Is it a forest or a plains? Because plains lets me, this lets me hit Blood Moon at instant speed. That's the key. They blood moon me. So we can just go wild in the cattle here and then hold up the interaction after. I think we can, I think we can bring it back. But scam, scam just doing scam things right now. Fortunately, we missed a land drop, but that's, that's what it feels like it, it is is what this deck is right now. Um, feel like you just uh, that's fine. So we're gonna hold this for white. Blood Moon resolves. This is just a mountain thanks to layering. I was correct. All right, just play around that disappearing. <laughs> Yo, they just gave it to us. Let's go. <laughs> Come on. When you have access to all five colors of mana, the world's your oyster. World's your oyster. Game two of Domain Zoo. All right. This is match number four in the league. In total. Uh, on it. I don't know. I. You know what? I'm. I, I'm learning with this deck. I don't know if this is a good hand or not. It seems decent. It, it, it honestly, it seems decent. That's all I'm saying. It seems decent. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab, we're gonna grab a star. Our mana base is so painful right now, but I think we gotta play it out. Um, let's 
It's going to be important to grab a breeding pool. This deck doesn't play red. Uh, it's fine. Uh, we'll grab breeding pool. Right? Because that complements the Savoy perfectly. And then pass. Next turn, we can grab... I don't know. We'll see what they play. We, we can make our next fetch decision based on what they play. What? Spend this on the activate abilities of land sources. What is this amulet? Activate abilities of land sources. Like, what, what are you talking about right now? Oh, that hurts. Um, that's fine. I'm not. Uh, I'm just gonna play the show me brawler. Um, we'll grab Temple Garden for white source because the turn after I'm playing Savoy Triome. Or no, I want Sacred Foundry here. It doesn't really matter. It honestly doesn't really matter. I could grab planes here. I could just grab planes here, honestly. Make my mana base less painful. I'm just going to place a Void Triumph anyway. But no, but I need... Okay, we're just going to shock this in. We're just going to shock this in, okay? This I, under, I understand there's probably a better way to do this and all this blah, 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 but it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. We have, like, we... <laughs> Like, cause this is the thing. We grab Sacred Foundry. This boosts this. That's that's the idea, right? It's like, how much damage do I want to do? I, I think I just want to do some damage. Like, first and foremost, level one, I just want to do some damage. That's level one. Um, let's see what happens. So the Shobi Brawler is gonna come down. Opponent really thinking about like what's what. I don't know. Like, they're really thinking about what they needed to be doing here. Go to attacks. Attack for three. Pass right through. This is the thing I got. This is the thing that I'm I'm scared I might like click right through. Notably though, the first two games in this league, I, I actually I actually lost. Uh, both of them pretty painful, and I will fully admit in this video, terrible mistakes. Right, like a lot of a lot of learning experiences. Um, a lot of learning experiences needed from those. Uh, but it's crazy to me that they're not, they're just going to demolition field the, the crap out of me or something or like what? Okay. Well, I'm going to play the Savoy Triome and honestly just play the territorial Kabu because that's just like, if they're, if they're going to, if they're going to like destroy my threats, I might as well play more threats. Um, it looks like some type of weird land destruction build, which honestly, Kind of nuts against us. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. Kind of nuts. And really the only way we avoid that is if, if we do end up winning this game, it'd be pretty nice just stealing us against a deck that's going to do Sunken Citadel in the field against us. At least we get to get our basics, which is kind of nice. Um, they're going to cling to draw a card. This is a brew. This is a brew. But okay. I mean, they're playing meta. So I guess if they need to practice against something, they miss their land drop. <clears throat> which we're about to miss our land drop. So. There is that. Um, so I think we're going to dash this in. So this is eight damage. We need to dash this in for lethal. Yeah, we need to dash this in for lethal. Right? We go to attacks. Bang, bang, bang. I don't want to draw discard just yet, just in case they have something. So exile up to one card from a graveyard. It'll be the cling to dust. Right, just so they don't have that. If they have some type of answer here, we get a treasure. Right, we have our land types. Holy, what is that? Thank the Lottie Lot. I'm not playing Mill. I will say that. Okay, Tribal Flames you for lethal. All right. No idea what we're playing against. I don't know. I don't even know how they're getting to that. Like getting to that Emrakul. I've I've no idea what they're playing. Like, like I guess we play Alpine Moon. Like I I honestly like I don't understand. Does Emrakul have flying? Does Emrakul have flying? Pretty sure it does, right? Where is it? Where is the Anstorn? Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know what? No, but this is a sorcery. This isn't going to work. No, no, no. It's a sorcery. If they, they play it, it's going to be on that turn that I need an answer to it. Um... Yeah. I guess Alpine Moon. Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm being honest. Like, I, I guess, right? Like, we take out two Stubby Ds, we play Alpine Moon. Like, I, I, I don't know. Like, Leyline of the Guild Pact is probably, like, literally the card that we want that, like, really bad here. I, I don't understand what, what our opponent is doing here, but we'll make it work, right? Y yeah. L yeah. Literally, yes. Literally, yes. This, this hand slaps. Late line of the guild pack just solves all of our mana problems. Uh, once they start destroying stuff. So this is good. They mulled a five too. So this is some type of deck trying to like... Oh God, I thought they were going to pass through. Some type of deck trying to cheat out Emrakul. So they'll take the Scion of the Draco, I imagine. They might actually take the Ragavan. Uh, no, they'll take Scion. And if they have removal for Ragavan, they'll play that. And we just need to play it and force it out of their hand. So they have you have to take Scion here, I think. And then I have to play Ragavan to force you to have the removal spell or Ragavan just runs away with the game. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. Okay, the Nishobi Brawler is a welcome second threat. I will say that. Play this. Play this. Okay, Ragavan's all colors. Okay. Basic Swamp, though. I, I just... What is... What is my opponent playing? What is my opponent playing? All right, there's the fatal push into another thought sees grabbing my Nishobi Brawler. All right, well, you're getting tribal flames, right? Like that's that's what I'm casting here. Unless I draw another threat. But the double thought sees is nice. That's four damage done for free. Um, yeah, that's four damage done for free here. Play this, we'll tribal flames you. All right. All, all the types we need. We're just going to keep throwing burn spells at you. Kind of unfortunate. The removal, double fit, double thought sees. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. <clears throat> field of Ruin's fine. They can they can Field of Ruin me all, all they want. We'll both grab a basic. That's fine. Um, if they eventually kill this, definitely want forest. We'll say that. Definitely want a forest about how we play our threats here but Leyland of the guild pact is welcome i'll grab a windswept heath and i'll just grab a triome do i grab a triome though i might just grab a shock because a triome i can draw and maybe just like cycle with it um because this might end up being a long game cabal coffers okay all right coffers makes sense okay so i'm happy i have the alpine moons now I'm gonna grab a breeding pool tapped. We're gonna fetch this, grab a Saker Foundry tapped. No, I'm not gonna grab the, the things though. Cause if I draw one, I can cycle it. Yeah, that's that's a good card. Yeah. Um yeah, let's play this. A ball coffers. Yeah, just so they don't they don't get the ramp off. And then that can just be essentially a swamp for now. If they play Karn, uh, I can hit it with the leyline binding. Uh <laughs> cling to dust to redraw. Yep. Okay, so they're playing coffers. They're playing coffers. That'll... I don't know if I change too much of how I board it, honestly. Just, I'd love a threat. I'd love a threat. One thing I learned the hard way, I will say, early in the league, the one in the first two games is remembering that ley line of the binding says a permanent and opponent controls. So I was trying to get real tricky against it all as dust. Learn the hard way that it's an, it's a thing that opponent controls. I, I can't remove my own stuff and then sacrifice the ley line binding. Oh lord, it was terrible. It was terrible. I ended up like resetting a one ring. It was it was bad. It was bad. Uh truly, truly terrible. Uh 
Uh, we'll we'll bring this into play. Yeah. Increase your orc, little orc army. That's fine. But I'm gonna take that. I take that orcish bowmasters from you. Honestly, that that might be a mistake though. If they play Karn here, Karn kind of runs away with it. I probably I probably shouldn't have. That was probably the mistake. The one ring isn't the problem. Yeah, honestly, I probably should have just let that through. And yeah, the one ring was uh sorry, the Karn is probably my problem, but that's fine. Let's go to attacks. Blocks, no. Okay. Yeah, because Karn into Ensnaring Bridge is like really dumb. I, I don't have an answer to that main board. I don't. Well, okay. I, I, I'm being dumb. Leyline Binding. Stop. I have an answer to that. But I have to draw into it. So. Uh, the One Ring doing them some damage here is going to be good too. Okay. Demo Field it is. Demo Field, I don't mind. Uh, but. Five. Okay, it's not Karn. It's not Shieldred. We have for six. What does this deck play for six? Gotta be something dumb. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. All right. Gaining a bunch of life, I guess. Just maxing out the march value. That's fine. All right. If you if they draw thought seize, they can thought seize me. That's the idea there. So you're probably gonna take three. You're gonna block. Yeah, the the ley line binding on the Orcish Bowmasters was probably not the good idea here. I, I was I was too hasty in my head, you know, like forgetting that, like, yeah, ley line binding answers more, so it's more valuable to wait. Um, more valuable to be patient. Because Karn the Great Creator is definitely a card that I lose to here. Yep. They probably have like a, a one ring in the sideboard just to reset, but that one ring dealing them some damage is going to be pretty sweet. Okay. Attack. Lightning Bolt is welcome. That kind of that kind of functionally puts them at a lower life total, which is kind of nice. Uh, okay. Sure. So they're just going to like triple block here. Block, block, go for it. I'll kill one of them. Okay. Uh, let's kill the actual Bullmasters itself. Yep. And then move through. Move through, that's it. That's, that's all they wrote. That's all they wrote, that's all she wrote. Four mana cling again. <clears throat> cling to redraw. Why don't they just start targeting my stuff? Why are they clinging their yard? They should target like my stuff. Like, I got lands in here. Okay, yeah, there you go. There you go. So you're gonna take three, which is nice. They don't if they don't find a solution right now, that one ring is uh that's gonna be doing some damage. That one ring is gonna do some damage. Like, if I can get an attack through here. If I can get an attack through here, somehow, some way, they have nine cards. There's no way I can attack through here. Yeah, they'll reset. Sure. They had to find something eventually. So now I can't really attack them. It's fine. It's gonna be it's gonna be one of them grind games. Clean up and discard. Okay. All right, that's okay, 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 okay. Next turn, don't worry. Don't worry, we got some damage coming through. Next turn, they got seven cards in hand. Can't attack, they got that protection. <clears throat> they got that protection. Um, uh, yes, I would love to search for a thing here. 
Demolition Field, Fixed Field of Ruin, because it, it, it says an opponent may search. Cop out. <laughs> Actual cop out. <laughs> Actual cop out. Come on. You don't want to enable the archive trap? Come on now. Be, be for real. Be for real, for real. Be for fur. Okay. Opponent does not want to activate the one ring. <laughs> Yo, I'm dead. Does not want to activate the one ring. I'm actually dead. All right. We got like a march. Okay. Fatal push. Yep. Yeah. Wouldn't be able to stubby D that. That's fine. You're going to demo me again? All right. Yeah. So I'd love to use that, that, that card's ability. I'm good. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of thinning my deck out on my upkeep. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan, especially with the ley line of the guild packed out. Territorial Kavu is very welcome here. Oh, hold on. Red. Um, I'm going to throw this out uh, before I get thought seized. Right. Kavu's lethal, uh, but they have six cards. I mean, they're going to have the opportunity to draw like four cards uh, to find some type of answer to the Kavu. Um, and, they, and they have like, uh, they have thing anyway, cling to like gain life. So they have cling to gain life anyway. We can do some filtering too. This is going to be quite the grind. This is going to be quite the grind. Nakatel, Nakatel. Nakatel, they don't want to lose life off that one ring. Completely fair. That one, that one ring did like six total damage to them. It, it was a beautiful thing. This is getting dumb. Not going to lie, this is getting dumb. All right. All right, opponent. <laughs> you got it. You got it. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Honestly, I might just have to call it. This is just like... Mono block control here. All right, Scion, hex proof. You just use the Shieldred's Edict too. Yeah, just use the Shieldred's Edict too. Come on, that's a great top deck. You just use the Shieldred's Edict too. All right. Okay, using the cling to dust again. Gain your life. I mean, they're at, yo, they're at, they're at nine mana there, you know? Oh, oh, put it, getting a little, getting a little desperate, eh? Getting a little desperate, putting some counters on the one ring. Putting some counters on the one ring. Scion of Draco. Giving, put, putting the fear, putting the fear in there. Alpine Moon putting in the work, by the way. Alpine Moon putting in the work right now, but let's see. Five, four for damn near. <laughs> okay. Uh, like. I'm about to concede. Like, this is ridiculous. I'm, I'm actually about to concede. If they play Karn here, all right, all right. You know what? You have it. All right, whatever. Um, this is getting a, a little ridiculous. Okay. Um, I honestly... I mean, we're back on the play. Like, on, honestly, I think this is fine. I think this is fine. I, th I, I think we just want to be aggressive. Yeah, I think we just want to be aggressive. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is, uh, this is okay. This is okay. Get this out. Our mana base is perfect now. Yeah, I think this is, this is a-okay. Okay. Play the Nakaddle. It's a 3-3 three, three already. Next turn, if they don't Thought Seize us, if they just Fatal Push the Nakaddle, we can go Nakaddle, Alpine Moon. If they Thought Seize us, they're taking three. Okay, that's fine. So they'll take the Nakaddle. They might even take the Alpine Moon, honestly, depending on how their removal is stacked. But yeah, okay. So they potentially have some removal available. Tribal Flames, you say. play the wild in the cattle let's play this what we can do is probably we'll fetch to thin out the deck here 
Because I think if we're going to play the long game, like all these points matter in terms of uh, the amount of lands left in our deck and stuff like that. Um, so stuff like that is really going to matter here. Do this now. Um, if they have the fatal push, sure. Use it on your turn. Removal for one, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. For one is cool. Grab an overgrown tomb. It doesn't really matter. But I think, like, if we're going to be playing long games against decks like this, uh, we need good options here. So we're going to go in for the swing. We're going for the attack. I think generally speaking, we just we just want threats. Right? So I'm gonna play the Nishobi Brawler. If they thought sees us sure that's two damage. Like it's like kind of some of the damage that the tribal flames can do. So I'd rather them thought sees the tribal flames in terms of like like a value exchange. I think that's that's like a correct way to read that. So you play out the Nishobi Brawler, force them to have more removal. I mean, I just have lethal on board if they if they don't kill something here. I just have lethal on board, so kind of need to do something. They can generate exactly the same amount of mana here. Yeah. Uh, If they have something, they can do it now. Yeah, if they have something, they can do it now. Okay. Sure. Mm, let's go to combat. Let's attack. Okay. So they'll kill the cattle here. Oh, uh, no, they'll kill the brawler. They'll kill the brawler, but I'll still get to deal two. Yeah, they'll kill the brawler, but I'll still get to deal like two past them. Yeah. Yeah, just one and one. So I'll be uh, or three past them. So we'll tribal flames them here. They could just play Karn, but I think it's better we just get aggressive. Um, I'll leave the steam vents in hand. If they want to thought seize me, they can, which they won't, but just in case. If I draw bolts, if they go like Thing Karn, I draw bolt, I win type of thing. They have to kind of slam one ring here. I think that's their only real option. Um, they can generate like some mana here. Do they have like a removal spell? That is really unfortunate. Okay, all right. Well, we're really gonna, we're really gonna stumble, eh? World's my oyster, world is my oyster. Okay, um, we're gonna play the Steam Vents tapped. Probably should have just played the Wooded Foothills because I'm again like these small points matter, right? In a deck where we're gonna grind against them, so they can't play One Ring to activate at this point because they'll lose to it. Ah, oh, no, they could cling. They could cling. Yep. Eight mana. That's where that Alpine Moon hit really does does come in clutch for them here. If they have like a March, they get a ton of life here. But they could just have dead cards in hand. Let's see. They could just have dead cards in hand. Okay, they to, they're going to march on my turn. Fatal push is fine. Baby, this is how we lose this game. That's crazy. This is that. This is how we lose this game. That is crazy. Opponent, come on, come on. <sighs> that sucks. Yeah, they'll. Oh, they'll bolt me. Okay, they don't... I mean, I guess they don't care about the thing here. But what if I dash in a Ragavan? Okay, all right. We'll just... We'll double fetch. Next turn. 
It could, I mean, I guess I have all types anyway. So like the ley line of the guild pack does it. Well, it kind of does something. It kind of does not I guess what they're doing is like, if I play out a threat, they can just, you know, kind of remove it. I'm wondering if they have an answer to a uh, thing Ragavan here. So I'm, I'm trying to desperately find a removal spell. So we're going to get Temple Garden. Right? Because the, the, the Triomes I can cycle if I find it. The Triomes I can cycle. So we'll get the forest. Okay. You need to find something. Speaking of cycling. Speaking of cycling. Okay. Nishobi Brawler. You can bolt this, I guess. It's it's like a way to like stop an activation because they kind of need to kill this. Unless they have an interaction piece here. Maybe this was a mistake because I gave the gave something to the march. But I kind of had to, right? I had to force him to have it. I don't know. I don't know if it, like whichever was correct here, but yeah, I kind of I kind of gave them that life. All right, I'll concede it here. It's fine. I'll take the L on that one. Bad call, bad call. But hey, Marblock got there. We just we just ended up stumbling, drawing all of our lands. So unfortunate. <laughs> 